Hey guys, what's up? It's Pondo Lapon, and I'm back with another tutorial. And this one is going to be an advanced um, outro for your YouTube videos. So if you like look at um a lot of the higher YouTube channels, at the end of their outro, they have like um a box with a video playing in it. And uh, I'm just going to show you what that is. So this is what we're going to make today. It's really easy. The requirements you need are Sony Vegas, any of the ones, I'm using Sony Vegas 10 plus, or not plus, Sony Vegas, and you can use any of them um, above this. And then you're also going to need Photoshop. So this is what we're going to make. I'll just show you it really quick. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Um, I really like it, um, and I think you will too. It was really easy to make. It just takes a few steps. So, what you're going to do first is open up Photoshop, and then go to File, New, and you can do 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. Um, I just do 1280 by 720 because it's a lot smaller, and it's easier to save stuff, and it doesn't lag my computer as much. So we're going to open this. Oops, opened in the other window. Make sure it's up there. So, as we can see, hold on. Okay. We're gonna um, just make something simple like this. So, first off, I wanna get a black background. So you're gonna unlock this. See, if there's a lock there, you just hold Alt down and double click and it'll get rid of that. A lot of my stuff are opening in um, my other window, so. We'll open that and then here's what you want. You want a black one. So if you look at this, if you look, it's kind of lightish and then it gets darker. Um, so to do that, you want this one just all the way black and then this one go black and just like a little above, like right there. That looks good. And then we'll do select this tool. If you don't see it, just hold it and you can, it's the paint bucket tool. We'll go to gradient tool. Select the circle one up here and then kind of click in the middle hold shift and just drag out and we get that cool looking um, lightish darkish darkish color so that's uh, that looks really nice in my opinion so now hold on uh, my screen goes purple sometimes with my okay now we want to make the two boxes um, the size will kind of matter don't make um if you're making a box, don't make it like this. That will not work. You want it kind of to look like um, this whole thing, like the 1280 by 720 just shrinked. So that one's good. You don't have to be precise on it. Just make it look just like this. And then uh, to copy this, you can right click and duplicate layer. That will bring another one. Or you can just do control J. Or you can hold alt when this little white black thing comes up and it brings another one out. Uh, I, I like to use the alt one a lot better because it just brings it out, out easier. And then you just press shift so it will lock in the layer. And then just kind of match it up to look like the other one. Alright, that looks cool. I'm going to move this one a little into it. Okay, that's cool. So now these are gray and we don't want that to be gray because when you're in um, Sony Vegas you're going to have to put a video in that spot so just double click this layer your layers up here color overlay and I like to just do a greenish color just like that okay that looks cool do the same thing for this one I'd match the colors so um, to match them just select and just click the green right here and it'll do the exact same color press ok ok there we go that looks cool I like that I'm actually gonna move these up so we can get some words on the bottom okay that's good now let's put in our name so I'm just gonna put Pone de la Pone. I think I spelled that wrong um to select it do control A just change the color to white doesn't really matter right now and then to change the size of the font you can press control T and then when you're dragging this to make the size bigger hold shift that keeps it in place so looks like I did spell it right that looks cool I like it 
So, and then now we want to make um, just these cool lines right here, which um, is really easy. I just get the box like this, um, kind of just make it a size I like there, and then hold shift and just drag it to there. And then do the exact same thing I told you before with um, control J or duplicate or press alt or what was it? Oh, I don't have it selected. Yeah, hold Alt then Shift and just drag it up here. Kind of like the same. That looks cool. I like it. If you hear me banging, I'm just fixing my monitor. So yeah, that's cool. I like that. You can mess with the font. Or yeah, so just double click on the font and uh, you can do a lot of stuff to it. Like add a cool little thing. This looks cool. I like that. Put strokes on it if you want. You know, but I'm not going to do that. I think it looks just fine like this. So that's cool. And then I'm just going to leave the white. And now I want to do the bottom part. What did I have there? Thanks for watching. You can add whatever. Whoops. You can add whatever you want there. Um like f you could do you could do the previous video for like the left side and the next video on the right or just put whatever you want. Uh, and you can put your Twitter, just any info you want right there. Um I'll just do um thanks for watching again. Okay, same stuff. Press enter, or whoops. Press escape to get out of this, or you can just press this button. Control T again, shift, make it a size I like. Center it where I think it'll look good. That looks good. Um, did I add, nope. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you can add these um, bars up here if you want, or just keep it. I wanna match the fonts, or the font like style. So I go back to Pwn de la Pwn and where the fade is, I'll just right click the text and you do copy layer style. And then I'll just do right click thanks for watching and then paste layer style and it gives me the same look. That looks um, pretty good. So this is pretty simple. You can add a lot more if you want. Um, and like uh, if I had more time I probably would, I'd put maybe like, I'd probably put previous video, next video or my Twitter and info make this a little nice but this is on um, just something we like so save it as a PNG when you're done in um, a file uh, I'm just gonna do video okay cool cool make sure it saves that looks good okay now open up your Sony Vegas and then we're just gonna import the the picture that we wanted so click this open or file import I believe and then um, not my videos go to pictures video open okay so there put my video in looks pretty cool um, the quality kinda sucks cause uh, this is on preview so it's not very good and this black bottom part won't be in the final video so that's cool I like this now we want to add a video effect to it and that's going to be Karlmer Keir so find that and we have green screen you can do blue these ones I just like green screen it works a lot better so select and drag it onto your thing okay that looks that looks good um you can also do this where you can like I think you can oh yeah so if you click this pick color you can actually just choose it from the video the green that will match it so if you have like a weird color in there like uh, I'm not sure but yeah okay yeah so that looks good now you don't see the thing there so now we're gonna add um, uh, the videos we want in this so I'm just gonna go to videos and we'll just add two of them we'll add these two so open them, you're gonna put them in. Let me just delete these. Okay. It might, if it makes it big, you can actually see my video clips right there. So just kind of scroll in until, you know, you can actually see the clip. Okay, now I'm gonna put this video in and just cut it to a random scene or wherever you want it. You press S to cut just kind of do a reasonable cut, delete, press the de delete key on your keyboard and then 
you want to get rid of the audio so when your outro is playing the song you won't have like random game music so just do control u that unlinks these and then delete the audio okay and then you're gonna just drag this one down it'll make a new video thing so now you can see the videos in the background right here and then um, that looks good so to get that to fit to get it to fit in one of these boxes press this um, event pan slash crop button and you're just gonna work with it so zoom it out and kinda just fit it until you think it's good so fit it kind of okay um, hold on okay there I think that's good let's check it out so when I play sweet okay now let's add this other video put it in same thing s s delete delete and make sure the selected control u delete the audio do the exact same thing bring it to the bottom and then there you can see that pan and crop scroll out and then we're just gonna fit it onto this side you can match it up okay I went a little too big there you don't have to like fit the video perfectly because it's just showing a clip so zoom in a little okay there that looks good boom so now when we watch this um whoops there it has two clips going you know previous thanks for watching that looks good I really like that um you can see I didn't delete the like videos right here um, because when I add the music I want to find how long I want the music to be so we'll select um, you go to press the folder again to import something um, add a song you want non copyright music that's what you want to do whenever you're on YouTube because if you don't you will get in trouble or uh, won't have it so here's a lot of uh, music I have some it's not free I'm gonna use the same song horizon and I'll just import that delete that again brings up um, a lot of how to free oh. okay um also yeah when you import stuff make sure there's nothing at the back of your video because when you go to export the video it's gonna render a long black screen so you just gotta make sure there's nothing at the end of your videos like uh, that just happened okay where the freak oh okay delete the video is above just scroll up there it is okay music let's find a good part in the song that is really loud I apologize take all of me. okay that looked good right here let's see how that looks good right here okay see then I have okay there that, that's a that won't be that big of a problem I can just drag this out it will probably make the video a lot slower but you can see why I still saved um, some of the long video and then just drag this over looks good and then you can just pull this one over just like that okay so now when you watch this video you can see there's kind of a fade in Horizon. It wasn't very good on that one, but I think it fades out as too, so why? Oh, whoops. See, so it kind of fades out, and you can hear the music fade out. So, we're going to do that. To fade it in, just scroll in a little. You want a lot of room to work with. So, here's what we We'll fade it into just there. That looks good. So, when it plays, you can see the... I'm going to lower the volume. You don't have to do this. I'm just going to do it for the video. And then uh, fade in the music as well. See, you get up right next to the corner, like the blue thing, and it will give you that weird arc option, and that's how you fade. So do that, and then I'm going to match these ones up with the video above mine. I forgot what it was at. It was at 113, so when I'm reading that, it will go 113. There, boom. So now it looks a lot nicer when it fades in after your video. 
So I like that. That looks cool. And then just do the exact same thing at the bottom. We'll do 103. I wouldn't do the audio at 103. I would just kind of like fade it in a little. So 103 and then 103. All right. So this is uh, this is pretty cool. I like this. And um, what you can do, at, um, instead of adding the clips, you can actually delete these and then save this part, these two parts right here. Um, and then whenever you have a new video that you want to add different like videos for this part, you can just import this clip and it will have the same stuff and then you just put these videos back in and do the exact same thing. So let's watch it, let's see how it goes. Okay, that was really cool. I like that. So, all good in the hood. So, just kind of make sure there's nothing at the end because when you go to export it, it will render all of uh, this other stuff. So, that's basically it. To, to save it, go to File, Render As, and then put it as Outro um, Video. And then uh, you'll have all these video stuff set up. I'm pretty sure if you actually have the program. So here's it saving. And yeah, it looks, I, I really like it. Um, hopefully you do. And with the Photoshop, um, I know a lot of people like to copy exactly what I do, but you don't have to. I mean, it's Photoshop, do what you want. This is just a kind of template. Basically all you need are the green spots for your outro. And then uh, that's a, uh, what you need. You don't have to have two, but two looks nice for previous random video or next video. So, is it done saving? Okay, now let's watch it. Where the heck is it? Oh, here it is. Oops. Doesn't look like it's. All right, yeah, that that looks really cool, and uh, it makes your video, it makes um a lot of your content look a lot more professional at the end of your videos, and uh, people like seeing nice looking pictures or videos and content. So, yeah, I hope this video is useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment, and I'll try to respond to all of them. And if you want to see any more how-to or tutorials, advanced ones, using Sony Vegas, Photoshop, or anything in general, I have a lot of programs. Um, just let me know. But I, I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Whoa, 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 we're taking off now. Whoa.